here. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, perfect. Okay. Adrian, I love you. Yay. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I know I've already said it a couple of times, but let's just make sure we have a blanket and something that can be in strap. Um, let's start on our backs. So why don't you come onto your back and um, go ahead and start by bending your knees. Yeah, bring your feet to the floor. And then separate your feet a little bit, bring your knees towards one another, right? Just starting in some constructive rest. You're gonna bring one hand over your navel and one hand over your heart. And you're gonna close your eyes. Right, and just like in most of our classes, we're gonna start with um, noticing the breath. Right? I think a big portion of yoga is uh, moving awareness around, right? So um, a lot of times we start with the breath because that's a pretty easy thing to connect to. And then um, we start to notice how we feel physically, right? So we start to bring ourselves um, out of the mind a little bit. And if you have, um, ever experienced anxiety or um, uh, like panic attacks, uh, a lot of times what they tell you to do to kind of cope with it while you're in it is to um, like really notice your physical body, right? They'll be like, notice your fingers, right? Notice your toes. Like, how do they feel when you breathe, when you move them, like really, um, taking it out of the mind and into the physical body. And I think that that's really important to do right now because um, we're in a time of change, right? And I spend a lot of time thinking about what, uh, when I come to teach yoga, like what I will say to that. And what comes to me is that we don't have to have any answers. Right, we uh, maybe just need to move out of our heads for a little while and feel our physical body. So on that note, I want you to, with your next inhale, see if you can breathe all the way down to your belly um, over the hand that's covering your navel, like, like extending your belly up even. And then exhale all the air out and notice uh, the belly coming down. I want you to do that at least two more times, breathing all the way down to the belly and noticing uh, the sensations of expansion through the belly. And then exhale. And with this next one, you're gonna inhale, breathing all the way down to the belly. And now I really want you to notice your exhale and as you um, draw the belly in, all the muscles right through the abdominals that we use to push breath out, right? But the abdominals work um, together with your diaphragm and your pelvic floor with your breath. So I want you to take your hand that's over the navel and just slide it down just a little bit so it's right between your hip bones right? And it's um, right on the transverse abdominal, the one that goes across from like hip bone to hip bone. And I want you to think, um, not like you're doing a sit up, right? You're not engaging your core muscles or your stomach muscles like that. But it's just like very light engagement through the lower abdominals, right? So I want you to go ahead and engage the lower abdominals. 
and then see if you can really focus the inhale up into the chest over the sternum so that um, maybe the belly is not really moving at all and all the breath is moving up into the chest so that when you inhale, uh, maybe you feel a little more space through the lungs and the rib cage. And then likewise, on the exhale, keep the tone of the lower abdominals, right? Let the lungs deflate. And then as the ribs come in, notice the muscles, right? Surrounding the rib cage that we use to push that last bit of breath out and do that two more times, right? Really focusing the breath up into the chest, finding space and then exhale and see if you can use the muscles that surround the rib cage to kind of get that last bit of breath out. I think uh, when we breathe, uh, we never really find full expansion, right? Or full depletion. We sort of float, right? Comfortably right in the middle. So maybe allowing yourself to find the full expansion, right? Really big breath in and like a complete exhale out, getting all the air out. Let's do one more like that. And then let's straighten the legs out and reach your arms up overhead and come into a full body stretch. And I want you to zip your legs up, right? Point your toes and reach back through your fingertips. Tone up the lower abdominals so you really feel opening through the entire front of the body. Now flex your feet so that um, toes are pointing up towards the ceiling, right? And then you're finding all this length through the back of the body. But you're still reaching the fingertips overhead really keeping the engagement through the lower abdominals. And then you're gonna hug the knees into the chest. And then let's come into happy baby. So as you come into happy baby, you can grab your shins, right? You can grab the inside of the foot or you can grab the outside of the foot, letting that be uh, your personal preference. And then if you like to rock side to side, you can rock side to side. This kind of massaging the spine. Remembering to keep a little bit of a tone in the lower abdominals, even here. And then you'll come back to center. Keep your right leg in happy baby. Release your left leg down. And then you're going to point your left toes. Think about toning up your lower abdominals and then finding length all the way down the front of the left leg. And at the same time, draw your right shoulder blade down towards the floor. Two breaths here. One more. Let's go ahead and release the right foot. You're gonna hug your right knee into the chest and then rotate your right foot at the ankle. And you're gonna go two times in each direction. We're gonna take the right leg all the way over to the left and come into the twist. So as you come into a twist, I want you to think your left hip is underneath your right, okay? And then you let your right arm come back and you open up through the chest. If this is too intense on your shoulder, you can always bring your arm down with your palm facing down, right? Or bring your hand behind your head. But find more space on the right side of the rib cage. And like, even though you can't actually breathe into just your right lung, I want you to visualize breathing into the right lung. So you find more expansion, more space. One more breath here. And then we'll come on to our backs. You're gonna bring your feet to the floor, arms down by the side of the body, and then moving with the breath, 
We're going to inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms up overhead, and then exhale, lower the hips, lower the arms. And we're going to do that four more times. You'll inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms, exhale, lower back down. Last three. Inhale, brings it up. And then exhale, lowers down. You're just moving with your breath, right? Inhale, nice and slow so that you use the whole breath. And at the top of the breath, that's when you get to the top of the bridge. And then exhale, lower down. And we'll do one more. Inhale, lift it up. And then hold here, right? So we're all up with our hips, arms reaching up overhead. Now I want you to press into the backs of the hands. And then without actually moving your feet, I want you to think about pulling your heels towards your shoulders and then fire up your lower abdominals and see if you can get your hips up a little bit higher. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the hips, lower the arms. And then we're going to hug the knees in. You're going to come into happy baby again, but this time I want you to grab the opposite way. So if you grab the inside of the foot, I want you to grab the outside of the foot and vice versa, right? You're going to find stillness here. So take a full breath in. On the exhale, think about drawing your shoulder blades down towards the floor. And then I want you to think about sending your tailbone down towards the floor. And breathe here. You're gonna keep your left leg in happy baby, and then let's lower the right leg down. Right, so point your right toes, tone up your lower abdominals, and feel the length, right? Moving down the front of the right hip, all the way through the front of the right foot. One more breath here. Think about drawing the left shoulder blade down towards the floor, and then you're gonna release your left foot Hug your left knee in towards the chest and then rotate the left foot at the ankle. You're going to go two times in each direction. Now we're going to take the left leg all the way over to the right. Right? Make sure that your uh, right hip is underneath your left and then let the left shoulder come back, opening up through the chest. We'll spend a few breaths here. Right? Don't worry about your shoulder coming all the way down to the floor. Right? I want you to tone up the lower abdominals just a little bit. And then think about drawing the left shoulder down the back. And then maybe it comes a little bit closer to the floor. Couple breaths. Really focus on breathing into the uh, left side of the rib cage. Right? If you could uh, breathe more into the left lung, right? Visualize that. And then come on to your back. Bring your feet to the floor. We're going to lift the hips up to straighten out the pelvis. And then hug the knees in one more time. You're going to grab behind your thighs. And we're going to rock back and forth, coming all the way up to your seat. And then you're going to cross your legs, plant your palms, and come back to tabletop. Right? So we're on hands and knees. Uncurl your toes. I want you to think about pressing down into the tops of the feet and pressing the shins down. Right? And when you do that, it's like it fires up the back of the leg. You're going to tone up your lower abdominals. You're going to keep the lower abdominals toned the entire time. Now, lower the belly just a little bit. Lift up through the chest and look forward. Still pressing down through the tops of the feet. One full breath in here. On your exhale, round the back. Let the head be heavy. And pause. So I want you to think you're pressing into the palms. And then with your head hanging, see if you can point your chin towards your thighs, right? Instead of bringing your chin to your chest. Stay here for an exhale. With the next inhale, we're going to lift the tailbone, lift the heart, lift the gaze, and then exhale, round the back. Three more. 
Inhale, opens up the front of the body. Keep pressing down to the um, tops of the feet. And then exhale, pressing into the tops of the feet and the palms, opening up the back of the body. Last two. Right, exhale, round to the back, head is heavy. And then last one like this. So we're gonna inhale, open up the front of the body. And then exhale round, coming into cat. And then let's come back to a neutral spine and you're gonna curl your toes under, right? So you're opening up the soles of the feet, but it kind of changes the connection to your mat a little bit, right? It should feel pretty solid here. Again, I want you to tone up the lower abdominals. We're not doing cat and cow yet. I want you to think about this as uh, more of like breath awareness. Uh, we're going to inhale, and I want you to feel like you're breathing into the side of the rib cage, like you're trying to flare out the sides of the ribs. You're going to keep that flare on your exhale. You'll open the mouth and then push the breath out with your mouth open. So you make like a ha sound. Okay. So we'll do it at least five times and we'll do it together. So inhale through the nose, fill up the side of the rib cage. Open the mouth, exhale out. Inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale. Last two. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale. Last one, inhale through the nose. On your exhale, lift your knees. Perfect, inhale here with your knees floating off the mat. Exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, lift the gaze. And then exhale, round the back, come into cat. You're going to inhale, come back to neutral. We're going to do that again. On your exhale, you're going to lift your knees. Hover here for one full breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the back. We're doing one more. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, lift your knees a couple of inches so your shins are parallel to the floor. Inhale here. Stay through the exhale. Full breath in. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the back, head is heavy. I want you to stay here in cat and think about hugging your lower ribs in and up a lot. Now keep that hugging in, lift your knees, take your hips back to down dog. It'll feel kind of like a short down dog, but that's okay. And I also want you to keep a bend in the knee. Press into the inside of the palm of the hand, let the head hang heavy. Now spread the toes out, and then think about setting the heels towards the floor. Three breaths here. See if even here, when you inhale, you can breathe into the side of the rib cage. Keep pressing into the inside of the palm of the hand, last breath. You're gonna inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Separate your feet about hip distance apart, right? So if you were ever curious about what hip distance was, you're going to take two fists and you're going to bring it between your feet, right? And that's about what hip distance is apart for you. Now, spread your toes out. Keep a bend in the knee. 
We're gonna inhale, come up halfway, but then I want you to bring your hands to your thighs. Keep the bend in the knee, and then you're gonna press your palms into your thighs and take your shoulders away from the ears. Bring your weight forward slightly out of your heels. Nice, one more full breath here. With your next inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Perfect. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, find plank. So we have options here. You can stay in plank with your knees up, or you can bring your knees down, right? You're going to get the same benefits from both. So go ahead, hold here. Think about hugging your lower ribs in and up, and then maybe look forward just a tiny little bit, right? We all have that tendency to look back to our feet, but they're not going anywhere. So you can look right in front of your hands. Take a full breath in. On the exhale, lower all the way down. Beautiful. Point your toes. Bring your hands behind your head so that the pinky's resting right at the base of the skull, elbows out to the side. You're going to press into the tops of the feet. And then I want you to inhale, lift your forehead, lift your elbows. Three breaths here. Right? It doesn't have to be a big movement, right? It can be really subtle and it's a very isolated strengthening. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands below your shoulders, bring your hips to your heels, come into child's pose. Right? Keep your big toes touching. You can take your knees apart a little bit if that feels nice. And then spend a few breaths here and maybe even like soften the elbows, right? So the forearms come down to the mat. And see if you can find the softness through the back of the body, right? So maybe when you inhale, you feel a little more space being created, right? And then maybe on the exhale, walk your hands back a little bit, press into your palms and see if your hips can come closer to your heels. Now, from here, I want you to come up onto your fingertips and even lift your head and your chest up a little bit. So your arms are straight, your hands are tented, and then we're going to walk the hands over to the right, really reach through the left fingertips, take a full breath in. On the exhale, you're going to lower the chest and the forehead back down to the floor and think you're like really breathing into the left side of the body, right? You can almost feel it like on the side of the armpit, right? All the way down the side of the body and into the arm a little bit, right? Allowing yourself to create space. Now, looking forward, lift the chest up a couple of inches. Tent the fingertips, walk your hands over to the left, reach through your right fingertips, inhale here, exhale, lower the chest, lower the forehead, right? And now really finding that length through the side of the right body. One more breath. And then we'll come back to center. Nice. Lift the hips, curl the toes under, take the hips up and back to down dog. Three breaths here. Take any movement that feels good. You can windshield wiper the hips back and forth or like pedal the feet out, walking the dog. But see if you can stay connected to the sensations of your breath. Perfect. Now inhale, look forward to your hands. On the exhale, walk your feet forward to meet your hands. We're going to inhale, lift up halfway. This time, bring your hands to your shins. 
right? Still have a little bend in the knee and think about toning up the lower abdominals and getting really long through the side of the body, shoulders away from the ears. Now from here, think about squeezing the hips together, like really engage through the bum. We're gonna bring the hands to the hips, come all the way up to standing. Okay, so bring the arms down by the side of the body. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back. Lower your back knee, uncurl your back toes. Inhale, bring the arms up. Interlace all 10 fingers. Take a full breath in. On the exhale, you're gonna lean over to the left. Now, it doesn't matter how far you go here, right? I want you to think, tone up your lower abdominals, right? Think about when you inhale, you're lifting up through your sternum. And as you lean over to the left, if you wanna go deeper, bend your left knee more. One more breath. On the exhale, come back to center. Release your hands down to the mat. Now, you're going to plant your right palm and you're gonna reach your left arm up. But we're still sending the left knee forward. So don't let it go out to the side. Left knee comes forward, left arm goes up towards the ceiling. One more full cycle of breath here. Exhale, release the left hand down. Now let's step the uh, left foot back to meet the right. Come into down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, your right leg up. On your exhale, bring your right foot forward. And then pause here. I want you to come up onto your fingertips and like really fire up your left leg. We're gonna, um, with the strength of the legs, you're gonna lift your torso just enough that your hands hover over the floor. From here, the only thing you're gonna do is reach your hands back towards your left heel. Now inhale, come all the way up. Bring your arms up by the ears. On the exhale, we're gonna open up to warrior two. So we're facing the longage of the mat, right foot's forward, yeah? Okay, tone up the lower abdominals, sit a little bit deeper, turn your palms to face up, reverse. Right arm up, left arm down. We'll inhale, come back up to warrior two. Nice, on the exhale, we're gonna straighten the right leg. You're gonna bend the left knee and come all the way down. So right leg's gonna stay straight, right knee, right toes point up towards the ceiling, right? And let's work on a little bit of balance. So maybe you bring one hand up in front of the heart, right? Maybe you switch sides. Maybe the other hand comes up. Maybe both hands come up. Right, we're bending the left knee, right leg is straight. Now you're gonna release the hands down to the mat. You're gonna lift the hips up, so straighten both legs. Toes point forward, full breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head be heavy. Five breaths here. Any movement that feels good, right? I want you to feel the weight in the feet. So maybe you bring your weight forward a little bit and then back. Maybe you bend the knees a little bit and then straighten. Maybe you bend the right knee, then the left. Yes, two more breaths here. Okay, walk your hands forward. Nice. Now we're gonna walk our hands over to the right, lift the back heel. Step your left foot forward to meet the right, forward fold. So we're back at the top of the mat. Now we'll inhale, come all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, palms to touch, look up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower your back knee. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, brings the arms up. Interlace all 10 fingers. Release your pointer finger. Then I want you to pause here. Come up out of the lunge a little bit, right? Feel the tone and the opening through the front of the left hip. And then let's lean over to the right. And from there, if you want more intensity, bend your right knee. Right, so really noticing the opening through the front of the left hip. Nice, inhale. On the exhale, come back to center. Release the hands down to the mat. You're gonna plant your left palm below your left shoulder. Reach your right arm up. Now, be mindful that your right knee doesn't go out to the right, right? Your right knee is going forward, and then you're wrapping the right rib cage back as you look up towards your right thumb. Two more breaths. Last one. Perfect. Release the right hand down. Curl your back toes under. Let's step the right foot back to meet the left. Down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, sweep your left foot forward. Nice. Now, come up onto your fingertips. Fire up your right leg. Think about drawing your left hip back just a tiny little bit. And then we're just going to lift the torso up just so the hands float above the ground. Feel the strength of the legs. And then the only thing we're going to move is we're going to reach the hands back towards the right heel. Now, inhale. Come all the way up to crescent. Arms up by the ears. Exhale. Open up to warrior two. Right? Inhale. Turn your palms up. Exhale, reverse. Left arm up, right arm down. Perfect. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Now, on the exhale, we're going to straighten the left leg, bend to the right knee. Come back down to toe stand. So this time, the left leg is straight. Left knee, left toes point up towards the ceiling. And then work them on a little bit of balance. Maybe we bring one hand up in front of the heart. Maybe the other. Maybe both. Right? Whichever variation you're taking, you have to be engaged, right? You have to be drawing in and up, finding strength through the lower half of the body to get that lift and length in the upper half of the body. Now, release your hands down to the floor. Take your hips up, point your toes forward, take a full breath in, exhale, fold forward. Three breaths. See if this time you can bring your palms flat to the floor, right? And then maybe you start to walk your hands back, ultimately getting the heel of the hand in line with the heel of the foot, right? So toes and fingers are pointing forward and then the head is heavy. So getting a, just like a little bit of a stretch through the forearm. And then maybe even think about drawing the elbows together and getting more space in the upper back between the shoulder blades. Like, perfect. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Now let's walk the hands over to the left. Lift the back heel, step the right foot forward to meet the left, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms up overhead, palms to touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, lower the back knee. Inhale, bring the arms up. Nice. On the exhale, we're going to open up. Face this way so you can see. We're going to open up to the left. So reach your right arm forward and your left arm back. 
I still want you to keep the tone of the lower abdominal so you feel a lift up through the chest. And then maybe you look back towards your left thumb. But then I want you to look forward towards your right thumb. Reach through your right fingertips. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Hands together in front of the heart. When you inhale, think about bringing your sternum up towards your thumbs. Nice. On the exhale, roll the left rib cage back, and maybe you look to the left. Two more breaths. Perfect. Release your hands down to the mat. We're going to step the left foot back to meet the right. Come into down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Okay, bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, your right leg up. On the exhale, bring your right foot forward. We're going to step the left foot forward like a third of the way, right? So it's not huge, just a little bit. Drop your back heel and then start to straighten your right leg. Now come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, folding over the right leg. Five breaths. See if you can crush down to the big toe of the right foot, right? And at that same time, draw your right hip back a little bit. Nice. One more breath. Press into the outside of the left foot. Mm hmm Nice, Sandy. Okay. From here, you're going to inhale, look forward, come up onto your fingertips. Feel the strength of the legs because you're going to bring your hands to your hips. Now, inhale, come all the way up. Step your left foot forward to meet the right. Bring the weight into the left foot. Lift your right knee. So we have um, our uh, left hand on our left hip and our right knee is up and we're gonna grab below the knee. But here's the deal, it's not about the right leg. I want you to think about the left leg. So press down through the sole of the foot to lift up through the chest. And if you're on carpet, this is gonna be very challenging. It's hard to balance on carpet. Okay, let's open up to the right and then look to the left. Look forward, bring the right knee forward. Okay, both hands on your hips, right knee still up. Point your toes, straighten your leg. One full breath here, inhale. Exhale, lower the right foot to meet the left. Arms down by the side of the body. Maybe shake the left leg off. Yeah. Okay. Find the front of your mat. Find Tadasana. Inhale. Reach the arms up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Step your left foot back. Lower your back knee. Inhale. Bring the arms up by the ears. On your exhale, we're going to open up to the right to reach the right arm back and the left arm forward. Okay, just posture, it doesn't have to be crazy. Tone up your lower abdominals, lift up through your chest, and then maybe you look back towards your right thumb. Right, look forward to your left hand. You're gonna reach forward through your left fingertips. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh, hands together in front of the heart. Now, as you inhale, Think about bringing your sternum up towards your thumbs, and then exhale, roll the right rib cage back. So also, you're bending your right knee, right? You're sending your right knee forward. Three more breaths. Okay, release your hand back down to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left, down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. 
Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. So then we're gonna do that shortening of our stance. So you're gonna bring your right foot forward just a little bit, like a third of the way, and drop your back heel. Now, you don't have to have a perfectly straight left leg. Come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Now, press down into your big toe and your big toe of the left foot. Draw your left hip back. Start to straighten your left leg. Inhale again, look forward. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Five breaths here. Yeah, three more. Last one. Okay, inhale, look forward. On your exhale, we're gonna bring the hands to the hips. So we're using the strength of the legs. Inhale, come all the way up. On the exhale, you're gonna step your right foot forward and then bring your weight into your right leg. Lift your left knee. So we're gonna do the other side, right? We've got the weight in the right foot, left knee is up. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Tone up your lower abdominals. Think about pressing down through the right foot to lift up through the chest. Even flex your left foot. Now, to play with our balance a little bit, we're gonna take the left leg out to the side, and then if it feels available, you can look to the right. Ooh. Right, so taking what we know, taking our steadiness and our strength, but then changing the perspective a little bit and seeing if we can maintain the steadiness. Come back to center. Now, bring your left hand to your left hip. Point your left toes. We're straightening the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left foot to meet the right. Maybe shake the right foot up. And then find the front of your mat. Arms down by the side of the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back to down dog. Okay, inhale, forward to plank. I forgot to strap for myself. And then you're gonna exhale, lower all the way down. Come down to your belly. Bring your forehead to the mat, your arms down by the side of the body, and then zip up your legs. You're gonna keep your forehead and your arms down, and then we're just gonna lift the legs, and we're gonna hold for five breaths, right? You don't have to take the legs up high, right? Think they're really straight and it's like you're trying to reach your toes back towards the wall behind you. See if you can lift your shoulders up. One more breath. On your exhale, lower the legs and then turn the head to either side that feels good. If this doesn't feel good on your neck, all you have to do is stack your palms and rest your forehead on your hands. But I want you to be able to find um, like a softness, right? A softness through the shoulders, the neck, the back. We're gonna do one more. Right, so arms down by the side of the body, the palms are facing up. Zip up the legs, forehead on the floor. Start by lifting the legs just a little bit. And then we're gonna lift the forehead and lift the chest. Keep the hands down on the mat, keep pressing the tops of the palms, or the backs of the hands, sorry, not the palms, down on the floor. So palms are facing up, just to be clear. Three more breaths. Last one. And then you're gonna exhale, lower down, and then you'll turn your head in the other direction, 
or you'll stack your palms and rest your forehead on your hands. One more breath here. Okay, for this next thing, I'm gonna have you watch me do it first. Um, you're gonna come onto your forearms, just like Sphinx, right? You have your elbows below your shoulders and your hands are in front of your elbows. I want you to press down into your forearms and then lift up through the chest. You're getting lots of space. Then we're gonna take the right leg out to the side, kind of like a frog. You're gonna take your left arm, thread it through and grab the outside of your right thigh. Now, we're gonna roll open. So you're gonna stack your right hip on top of the left and then let your right arm come back and look over your right shoulder. And it should feel different coming into it this way than coming into it from your back. So um, now you'll try, right? So we're on, all, we're on our forearms, we're pressing down. You take your right leg out to the side like a frog, thread your left arm through, grab the outside of your right thigh, stack your right hip on top of the left and then roll the right shoulder back, coming into a nice two time twist. And I'm gonna come have a look. Let me see how everyone's doing. But we'll be here for five breaths. Nice. Two more breaths. And when you're ready, we're going to roll back to our belly and come back to sphinx. So forearms on the mat, elbows underneath the shoulders, hands in front of the elbows. So press down into the forearms, lift up through the chest, stretch out through the front of the body. Now take your left leg out to the side like a frog. Take your right arm, thread it through. Grab the outside of your left, left leg. You're gonna roll your left hip on top of the right and then let your left shoulder come back, coming into the supine twist. And we'll be here for at least five breaths. If this causes any discomfort in your lower back, um, bring both knees up, right? So instead of having your right leg extended, Hug both your knees up to your chest and then let your left shoulder come back. And that should um, help neutralize your pelvis and your lower back. See if you can um, find the focus, right, that breathes into the left side of the body, right? I know it's ridiculous, you can't breathe into the left lung intentionally more than the right, but visualize that you can. And then let's go ahead and roll onto the belly once again. And then we're just gonna flip our pancake. And as we flip our pancake onto our back, you're gonna grab your strap, your belt, your scarf, the leash, whatever you're using to be a strap. And you're gonna have it handy. Okay, first thing I wanna do is I wanna bend the knees, place the feet on the floor. Now from here, let me show you one. So from here, we're gonna drop, and if you wanna look up here to see what we're doing, we're gonna drop the right knee down and in towards the mat. And then you're gonna place your left foot on top of the right thigh, kind of encouraging that downward movement. My right hip has come up a little bit, that's okay. Reach the right arm overhead and stretch out the right side of the body. And it should feel pretty nice. Let's see what y'all got, right? So, knees are bent. We are gonna drop the right knee in, 
right, towards the inside of the leg, and then stack the left on top, the left foot on the outer edge. Yes, nice, Sierra. And you should get a nice stretch along the right side of the body. And depending on where you experience your tightness, right? Sometimes I feel it down the front of the hip, and then sometimes I even feel it in the back from like the bottom of the rib cage to the hips. I'm getting that super secret muscle. Two more breaths here. So let's release the left foot and then we'll bring the right knee up. Bring the right arm down and we'll just switch sides. So feet are pretty wide. They're probably like mat distance apart so that we can drop the left knee in and down. So we're coming to the inside of the knee and then maybe reach the left arm up overhead. And then if you want a little more intensity, you'll place the right foot on top of the left thigh, encouraging that downward movement. And breathe. Getting a release through the front of the left hip, or maybe even from the bottom of the rib cage all the way down to the hip. The main idea, right, is just to release any compression, find space. One more breath here. Nice. Come back to center. Now, we're going to heel toe both feet over to the left side. So if you want to look at the screen for one second, I'll show you first. Right, so both my feet are on the left side of the mat. And then I'm going to drop my right knee open. So now I'm on the outside of the right leg. But then I'm going to bring the left leg across. So the left is on the outside of the right thigh. And then I'm going to drop my left knee down towards the floor. And then reach the arms up overhead. And you will immediately notice which, uh, which side of your hip is more open, right? One of these usually feels pretty good, and one of them feels pretty impossible. Just making sure that you don't have any pinching or pain in your knees. Okay, and if you do, let me know. Let's do one more breath here. Nice. So release the left leg, lift the right knee. Now let's heel toe both feet over to the right side and then drop the left knee down towards the floor. So you're like on the outside of the left knee. You're going to bring your right leg across so that your right foot comes on the outside of the left thigh, and then you're going to drop your right knee down. It's almost as if we're doing um, like stacked shins, but we're laying down, or fire logs, or whatever it's called. Bring your arms up overhead, and just breathe. Right? Sometimes this pose can be... Um, like an intensity creeper, right? At first you're like, oh, it's all good. And then a few breaths later, you're like, oh, okay, there it is. See if you can even out the breath, letting the inhale and exhale be the same length. Nice. All right. 
Release that. So we're going to take the right foot off the left thigh, and then we'll lift the knee, come back to center. Then uh, let's come back to how we started. So separate the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Let the knees come towards one another, releasing in the lower back. Bring one hand to your navel, one hand to your heart. Close your eyes. Three breaths here. Okay. Now from here, we're going to roll onto the left side and press yourself all the way up to your seat, right? Grab your blanket and then fold it up enough, right? So basically I've made a square and then I'm going to roll it, right? And it doesn't have to be a real tight roll. I don't know if you can see this. Yes. I'm going to bring it down to the mat. And I want to um, lay my upper body over the blanket roll so that it's like right like underneath my armpits, right? So that I can lay my head back and then bring my shoulders down to the floor, arms out to the side. And then if it feels available, soles of the feet together, knees apart. Right? Maybe you adjust to where you find not too much intensity, right? We want to be able to soften into this. Coming into a really gentle back bend. Now, for some people, soles of the feet together, knees apart is awful, right? And I understand that. So if you do not enjoy having your legs like this, all you have to do is bring your knees up, separate your feet a little bit, knees towards one another, right? And get a release a different way, but still getting just this little bit of um, a supported back bend in the upper back, right? It's, which is where we really want to try to create a little bit of movement, right? Is in the upper back. We all tend to be a little hypermobile in the lower. So, letting the shoulders be heavy, closing the eyes, and see if you can soften the jaw. Right? So, maybe you open and close the jaw a couple of times. We'll be here for about five more breaths. Right, maybe noticing the physical sensations of the inhale and the exhale. Last breath here. Let's bring the hands to the outside of the thighs, draw the knees together. And again, we're going to roll onto the side to press ourselves all the way up. You are then going to take your blanket and go long ways. Okay. We're going to bring the blanket all the way up to the bum. And then you're going to lay back on the blanket again and bring your arms out to the sides. Right, so turning this more into a little bit of a gentle chest opener. Uh, if your head is dangling off the edge of the blanket, I grab another like pillow or something to support your head because you don't want your head dangling. We never allow the head to dangle. No dangling heads. I am lucky my torso is not longer than a blanket. Take your arms out. And then this time, uh, Either have your knees uh, coming towards one another, or you can straighten your legs. But close your eyes. And 
then just notice the inhale. Notice the space that we create. And then notice the exhale and the softness that comes with that. Last three breaths. See if you can draw the breath out, right? So um, in reality, slowing it down, right? See if your inhales can be a little bit longer. And then likewise, your exhales. A little bit slower. And we'll bend the knees, place the feet on the floor, and then roll onto your left side again. Come all the way up. We're going to take the blanket, set it off to the side, and then come onto your back. So with the knees bent, you're going to grab your strap, whatever that is, and take the right leg up. We're going to bring the strap over the sole of the foot. Nice. And then I want you to grab um, high enough on the straps that your arms are straight and your right leg is straight. Okay? Take a full breath in here. On your exhale, think about drawing the shoulder blades down towards the floor, which should intensify the opening in the back of the leg. And then if it feels available, straightening out your left leg. Four breaths. Last two. Last one. Bring both straps into your right hand. Bring your left hand on top of your left hip and then open up to the right. Maybe look to the left. We'll inhale, come back to center. And then take one strap in each hand and let's take the left foot up and replace the right. Bring the right foot to the floor, right? Think super straight left leg. Bring your hands high enough on the strap that you have straight arms. Inhale here. On the exhale, think about drawing the shoulder blades down towards the floor. Then keeping the tone of the lower abdominals if you want to straighten the right leg, go ahead. And then breathing into the back of the left thigh. Four more breaths here. Right? So even here, noticing the inhale and noticing um, where you created space. And then on the exhale, where can you soften without losing integrity? Last two. You're going to bring both straps into the left hand. Bring your right hand on top of your right hip to anchor it down. Now open up to the left and look to the right. Four 
One more breath here. We'll inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, release the left leg. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor. Arms down by the side of the body. We're gonna inhale, take the hips up into bridge. And then hold here for two breaths. I want you to think of really using your butt, like use your butt to lift your butt, right? It doesn't have to be a huge bridge. You don't have to go super high. Now think about bringing your knees a little bit closer together. Tone up the lower abdominals, full breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Nice. Hug your knees in towards the chest. Take a full breath in. On the exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Bring your chin up towards your knees. Take another full breath in here. On the exhale, we're going to release that. Come all the way onto your back, getting ready for Shavasana. So grab anything you want or need. Since you have a blanket, maybe put it underneath your head so that you have a little... Uh, a little softness, right? A little cushion. And then as you come onto your back, I want you to um I want you to let your feet just kind of splay out, right? And just notice the tension in the legs, right? Um and if it feels better on your lower back, you're always more than welcome to grab a couple of couch cushions or pillows, like throw pillows, and place them underneath your knees, right? But if your back feels fine, don't worry about it. Let your legs relax, let your hips relax. I want you to tuck your shoulders underneath you so that we still have the expansion in the space through the chest, right? Um, you know, in the beginning, I mentioned that in our practice, right, it's really about um, the act of moving attention and focus, right, from, um, from our mind and maybe allowing yourself to um, find a steadiness, right, find your strength and your stability, right, and it's like from there, once you find your physical body, right? Your strength, your presence, right? Then we can relax. We can see that we're alive, we're breathing, we're okay. Right? And then you um, soften, right? You like soften into it and explore how you feel. And then really nice way that I learned was um, almost imagining that your pool eyes are uh, pools of like really still water, right? You know, when you see a body of water and it's just like almost glass, right? It's so smooth, it's so calm. And then bringing your inner focus, your third eye, that awareness and that attention in and down your body, right? So that you notice yourself like almost floating within that pool of water, right? That pool of stillness, feeling settled. And when you notice yourself completely relaxed, right, floating, then you can start to notice your mind. I really like bringing the awareness to the third eye because this is our area of intuition, right? It's like that third sense. It's that clarity when things don't seem clear. And sometimes it's just noticing where your mind is, what your perspective is.
Slowly start to deepen the breath. With your next inhale, bring the arms up overhead, come into a full body stretch. On the exhale, bend one knee at a time, place your feet on the floor. And let's roll onto our left side using the left arm as a pillow. I'm just taking a pause here. Take another full breath in. On your exhale, coming all the way back up to your seat. And just keeping um, your eyes closed and your body heavy. Find a comfortable seat and then bring your hands over your heart. And gently bow your head. With your mind, offer your heart perfect gratitude. Gratitude for beating, pumping blood, moving oxygen through the body. Gratitude to your heart for being your center and your space for kindness, for compassion, for forgiveness. I want you to offer yourself all these things. I want to thank you for sharing your practice and your energy with us this morning. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. We are going to seal our practice with one soft ohm. We'll do a cleansing breath first. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth. Exhale out. <sighs> Inhale to ohm. Ohm. Bringing your thumbs up to the third eye, bowing in. Namaste. Thanks, you guys. Let me unmute this. Let's see. Thank you so much. Um, also, 
I am always open to suggestions. If anything um, was hard to hear or any suggestions, I'm open. It's a, we're on a learning curve here. So yeah. yeah, please feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great Bye. day. Thank you. A happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Hopefully Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna go Bye. check Bye. the house. Bye, you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.